Hello, hello, hello there. My name is DJ Robinson, if you're new here. I am a mother of two. I live in Los Angeles, California. And on this channel, we discuss business, parenting, and lifestyle. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the content that I have cooking for you guys. If you're a return subscriber, thank you so much for being here once again. I'm not gonna talk too much. Let me just share my social media really quick for those that care. Um, I am a real estate business owner, so you can follow me on Instagram at Dijanae the Realtor LA. My personal page is at just Dijanae. What else am I on? I'm on TikTok, Dijanae the Realtor LA. I'm on Facebook, Dijanae Robinson. I think that that is it. So let's get right into the video. I'm not gonna talk too much. I am coming to you guys to talk about notary in 2024. If you are around on these YouTube streets, Googling loan signing agent and how to become a notary, you know that the glory days, and I, I won't say the glory days, like it's not the glory days now, but there was a, a, a huge renaissance in 2020. I would say from 2020 to like 2022, where the loan signing agents were out here killing the game. There was a lot of loan signing agents on YouTube that are not here anymore. Some are like myself, but a lot of people were getting into notary work through being loan signing agents because as we remember what happened covid back in 2020 the interest rates for buying homes were low 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 low, low, low. i mean at one point i think it had got to two percent so a lot of people that became notaries around that time or were already notary loan signing agents we're getting so much business. The industry was popping. You know, a lot of people were YouTubing how to become a notary and a lot of people were getting in the game at that time. Now, in 2024, I always get the question from you guys, are you still a notary? Do you still do loan signings? Do you still do notary work? And the answer is yes, I do. Yes, I am still a notary in Los Angeles. I still have my notary company. I still actively work as a notary. So that is what this video is about today. The truth about being a loan signing agent in 2024. So if you wanna know more about that, stick around to the end of this video because I have valuable information all the way to the end. Let's get into it. So like I said, guys, I am still a notary in Los Angeles. I have had my notary commission since 2019. I just had to renew my commission last year because as we know, notary commissions are good for four years in the US currently. And just a note on that, please start early. If you know that you have to renew your commission in the next year or so, Take it from me, start early. This past year was the first time I had to renew my notary commission and I waited to the last minute and there was like three or four months where I was not able to do any notary work and that source of income had dried up and I felt it significantly. So I would say, like just a suggestion, start six months out. If you know your commission is getting ready to expire in six months, start doing whatever you gotta do to make sure all of your ducks in a, are in a row so that there's no point where you cannot notarize, okay? Just take it from me. But yes, I am still a notary. At this time where I'm at right now in 2024, I mostly do general notary work. I was doing a lot of loan signings at the top of this year and working with different signing companies, but the truth is because I'm a real estate business owner, because I'm a property manager, because I'm a mom as well, lots of jobs and lots of hats I wear. I don't really have time at this time to sit by the phone and be there to respond to the text messages that come through right away from the signing companies or sit on the app like with Title 365, everything comes through on an app. So back in 2022, I wasn't as busy as I am now and I was able to just sit around all day and be on my phone and accept those signings as soon as they came in on my phone. But because I'm so busy, I miss a lot of them, hence why I don't do long signings. I could, you know, do marketing to direct clients and stuff like that, but I just don't have the time. So right now, 
I just do general notary work. However, if I receive a call from a signing service that I am signed up with, like if they personally call me on the phone and I'm able to accept the signing, then I will. For me, it's not like it was in 2022 where I was able to just sit on these apps all day, wait for the text messages to co come through and quickly accept them. Because if you are a loan signing agent or if you know anything about being a loan signing agent and working with signing companies, there's tons of people that they send these text messages out to. And if you're not there right away, depending on what area you live in, I live in LA. If you don't get those text messages or those alerts right away, you're going to miss the signing. So I don't, I don't have time at this time to sit there and wait for the signings. But once again, if they call me and I'm able to accept, if the terms are good, if the fee is right, you know, if I'm able to make it, then I'll accept it. So yes, doing general notary work mostly at this time, I'm always getting calls from my Google business page. If you are a notary or a loan signing agent in 2024, definitely, if you don't have a Google business page, you're missing out on an amazing free resource. Most of my business, I would say, I would say 60 to 70% of my business comes from Google business and it's a free resource. So you need to have Google business in 2024. I mean, just the other day I was at home and I was sick as a dog, but thank God I answered the phone because I'm a notary and I answer my phone. Cause I hear you notaries don't be answering the phone. That's what the people are telling me, no shade. That is what the people are telling me. I was sick and I still answered the phone because I know money calls. So I'm always going to answer when I can. So I was laid out on the couch and I answered the phone and it was a law firm from somewhere in the Bay Area, mind you, I live in LA, and they specialize in estate planning. And the lady was just telling me that they always have signings, um, estate planning signings that they do in the LA area, like trusts and wills and things of that nature. And they always need LA notaries to facilitate those signings. And thankfully I answered and they put me on their roster and I already had a signing with them. They pay like 150 and I'm able to charge the client a travel fee on my own as well. And we'll get into travel fees later. But notary is just the gift that keeps on giving. So don't just limit yourself to uh, being a signing agent. You're a notary across the board. And I can't tell you how to run your business, but you know, you're a notary. I remember back in 2020 and 2022, people were so hell bent on just being signing agent, signing agent, signing agent. Yes, be a signing agent, but just be a notary that does all things, you know, for the most part. Be a diverse notary. Don't just limit yourself to, oh, I'm just a signing agent. No, I'm a notary. I can notarize anything, honey, okay? Anything within reason, anything within the law. Um, a lot of my business is general notary work, repeat clients, because I always get told when I do notary work that it's so hard to find a, a responsive and dependable notary in Los Angeles. So that's how I'm able to, because I'm responsive, because I'm dependable, because I'm professional, I'm able to retain a lot of the clients that I get that are first time clients and turn them into repeat clients. A lot of my repeat clients are people who own property management companies, people who have a lot of properties and always have paperwork that needs to be notarized, attorneys, attorneys offices, senior citizen homes, rehabilitation centers that I've worked with before because these people are constantly needing notaries and I'm the girl that they call because they had a good experience with me in the past. And so I am fortunate <coughs> to have <clears throat> a lot of repeat clients and then uh, they, a lot of my business come from their referrals. So referrals from my repeat clients, they tell other people about me and other people call me. So I'm blessed. I also work for this company. It's an entertainment company in LA and she found me, the CEO, the owner, she found me on Google Business, you guys. She literally typed in notary near me. I came up, she she messed with me, um, meaning she, she really liked me from the first time we met in the first uh, notary job that I did for her. I did a notarization. I went to one of her clients' house, big name clients. She has people from all walks of life that she works with. Janet Jackson, Missy Elliott, TDE. I've done some notarizations from people, been in rooms with people that I never thought I would be in rooms with because of her. And um, 
you know, that doesn't mean much to me. I mean, I'm from LA, so I don't get like geeked out on celebrities and stuff, but it's just, I'm just trying to show you guys that you never know, I never knew where being a notary could take me. So she's one of my main sources of income. She calls me to do all kinds of stuff and it's not always just notary work. I do a lot of courier services for her. So her company, they basically get visas for entertainment companies and artists. So for example, let's say, and this is literally just a random example, it's not a true life scenario, but let's say that she is, who's on tour right now? Chris Brown's on tour right now, right? Her company gets the visas for Chris Brown and all his dancers because they're traveling here, they're traveling there. Everyone needs visas, everyone needs passports. So her company does that. So I do courier services for her. Like sometimes I have to go down to the Chinese consulate because some a lot of her clients go to China and I go down and take the documents so that they can get their Chinese visa or I will go down to the passport building and take passport applications that are getting expedited for some of her clients. I do fingerprinting for her as well. She recently, during the BET Awards, she called me up, said that she had a well-known rapper, I will not say his name, for confidentiality reasons, but she called me up like, hey, so-and-so needs their fingerprints done. Can you meet him at his studio at this time in Hollywood to take his fingerprints? Yes, I can. Went to the studio. Fingerprint is your favorite rapper. So I said all that to say, don't just rely on loan signings in 2024. Listen, who am I? I I'm just a young lady that has been, had her notary commission since 2019. I mean, you know, and I run my business the way I run my business. You're gonna run the business, your business the way that you want to run your business. I'm not here to tell you how to run your business. But I do think it's important to diversify. I found success in diversifying, getting my fingerprinting, adding different services, courier services to my business that maybe aren't notary related, but that notaries are still commissioned for. I know some people do proctor services with their notary service. So diversifying is really important if you wanna be successful in this game. I do believe that you can be a successful notary in 2024. I still believe that you can be a successful loan signing agent in 2024. But for me, whereas I was super hyper-focused on just loan signings in the early 2020s, now I am general notary work, fingerprinting, like my businesses encompasses more than just loan signings, which has been uh, monumental for me and my business this and has kept me working I believe first of all I'm never getting rid of my notary commission I'm a real estate business owner in Los Angeles I'm gonna be making big money I'm still never getting rid of my notary commission one I take great pride in being able to help people so people always need a notary whether it is for estate planning notaries are needed to notarize power of attorneys notaries are needed to notarize wills divorce degree decrees whatever people always need a notary and like i told you guys before people tell me all the time how hard it is to find a responsive professional and dependable notary. So for me, I enjoy being that for my community and I don't see myself ever letting go of it. It's great to keep extra money in my pocket. And when I mean extra money, you know, I don't just mean a couple of dollars here and there. I mean, extra viable, it's a viable source of income for me. It is, so I'm never letting it go. I'm never letting it go. And plus like my friends and family, I help my friends, my family members that need notaries. So it's good to just be that notary of my community and my inner circle. Honey, becoming a notary is one of the best business decisions I ever made. And I'm, I don't see myself giving up my notary commission or my notary business ever ever it's amazing it's not rocket science we are literally verifying the identity of a person and literally watching them sign a document and stamping it i mean obviously you know there are circumstances that can be a little more tricky but that's essentially what we're doing it's an easy way to make money and people pay good 
money for notary services. Another thing that I love about being a mobile notary, because I am a mobile notary as well, um, is that you can charge for the travel fee and there's no limit to what you can charge for the travel fees. And I just love that it is flexible. You know, you can do it whenever you want. It's your business. If you work a full-time job, you can do your notary work on the weekends. I get a lot of weekend business because a lot of times people work during the week and they're not able to come to me or I'm not able to come to them. But, you know, you can do it on the weekends. You can do it after you get off work. You can do loan signings if you want. You can stop doing loan, stop doing loan signings and then do general notary work. You can stop doing it. Like you can do whatever you want to do. There's so much that you can do with being a notary. And once again, I will never give it up ever. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think so far, I'm not going to make the video too long. I think that's all that I want to say. If I forgot anything, or if there's anything that you want to know at all about being a loan signing agent in 2024, being a notary in 2024, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. And I will be sure to get back to you guys and answer whatever questions that you may have. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for listening to what I have to say and valuing me enough to listen to me ramble for a couple of minutes leave a mm, what kind of emoji leave a toilet emoji random under the comments if you made it this far in the video leave a toilet emoji let me know that you're still with me till next time i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for listening and best of luck to you all with your notary businesses bye